Linda, get me a full set of vital stat. And page Dr. Shelton. He's on call for ortho. On it, Doc. Deep breaths, everyone. We're taking care of you. BP's dropping fast. Pulse is thready. We need to prep the ore for emergency surgery. And now. You got it, Doc. Hang in there, son. We're not giving up on you. Multiple fractures, internal bleeding, gotta act fast. OR's prep doc, team's on standby. Good, let's move. Time is of the essence, people. Suction Linda. Right here, doc. All right, team. We did it. Let's get into recovery. Close call, Linda. We pulled him through, Doc. That's what matters. Couldn't have done it without you, partner. Your skills saved him as much as my scalpel. Just doing my job, Doc. You know, you scared the interns half to death back there. Yelling like a drill sergeant in the oar. Someone had to keep the adrenaline pumping, Linda. Besides, it keeps them on their toes. You got that right. How long do you think he'll be out of it? Hard to say. The head injury is the biggest concern. We'll have to wait for him to wake up and see how he responds. Doc, look! Easy there, son. You're safe now. Where am I? You're in the hospital, Nikhil. You had a bit of an accident. What happened? My head, it hurts. Take it easy. You need to rest. We'll explain everything later. Who are you? I'm Dr. Macro, and this is Nurse Linda. We took care of you. Welcome to the Mahira Healthcare English Podcast. Some of you may have found the above conversation a bit awkward, as you couldn't figure out standard English. Some grammar may have felt different or wrong. Well, for non-native English speakers, it is somewhat a localized form of the language. You can expect these conversations when you work in any English-speaking healthcare system. I'm Mihira. Let me tell you the story of the above conversation. In the bustling city of Montana, Dr. Daniel Macro was renowned as a compassionate general practitioner known for his dedication to his patients. Nurse Linda Hilton, his trusted assistant, complemented his expertise with her caring demeanor. Together, they formed an efficient medical team at the local hospital. One evening, amidst the chaos of the emergency room, they received an urgent call. Nickel Raj, a traveler and explorer, had been involved in a severe accident while trekking in the remote mountains of Bozeman. He was brought in critical condition, barely conscious and unable to communicate effectively in English. As Nickel was wheeled into the emergency room, Dr. Macro and Nurse Linda immediately sprang into action. Despite the language barrier, they knew their primary goal was to stabilize Nickel's condition and provide the necessary medical care. Hey there, Nickel. Good morning. Feeling any better today? Hey, Doc. Yeah, a little better, thanks. Appreciate you looking in. No problem at all. You had a rough go of it, but the good news is you're on the mend. How's the pain, Nickel? Holding up okay, with the meds? Yeah, manageable. That's good. We'll keep an eye on it, and adjust it if needed. Now, about your recovery plan. We'll be starting you on some physical therapy soon, to help you get those muscles working again. It won't be a walk in the park, but I know you'll do great. I'll push through it, Doc. I just want to be back on my feet, you know? That's the spirit. With your attitude and our team behind you, I'm confident you'll make a full recovery. Absolutely, Nickel. We'll be here every step of the way. You're in good hands. Good afternoon, Nickel. How are you feeling today? A bit better, thank you, Nurse Linda. That's good to hear. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything at all, all right? Actually, Nurse Linda, 
I was hoping you could help me understand my treatment. All the medical terms make me feel a bit lost. Of course, Nikhil. What specifically would you like to know? What is this for? Do I really need it? This is an IV Nikhil. It delivers fluids and medication directly into your bloodstream to keep you hydrated and manage your pain. It's an essential part of your recovery right now. Thank you for explaining, Nurse Linda. I feel a little better now, knowing why it's there. You're welcome, Nikhil. Please don't hesitate to ask if you have any further questions or need anything else. It sounds like you've had some amazing adventures, Nikhil. I'd love to hear more about them sometime. I'd be happy to share, Nurse Linda. Perhaps when I'm feeling better, we can sit down and have a cup of tea together? That sounds lovely, Nikhil. I'll hold you to it. Have you ever found yourself in a conversation that feels oddly familiar, almost like a scene from an OT speaking role play? It's quite common, especially when you're immersed in an English speaking environment. The takeaway from such encounters is remarkable. They often blend grammatically correct language with casual communication. Offering a unique insight into how language functions in real life situations. When you step into a native English speaking country, whether for study, work, or travel, you'll encounter a diverse range of language styles. From formal presentations to casual chats at the hospital, the English language adapts to various contexts effortlessly. It's this adaptability that makes it such a dynamic and widely spoken language worldwide. In these interactions, you'll notice that both formal and informal language serve the same fundamental purpose: the exchange of information. Whether you're discussing complex medical procedures or sharing anecdotes about your weekend adventures, effective communication is key. So, if you ever find yourself hesitating to speak up because you're unsure whether your language is too formal or too casual, remember this. Both styles have their place in English communication. The important thing is not to worry too much about adhering strictly to formal grammar rules or sounding too casual. Instead, focus on expressing yourself clearly and confidently. Embrace the fluidity of the English language and allow yourself to adapt to different communication styles as needed. By being open to both formal and informal language, you'll gradually improve your English language skills. Each conversation, whether structured or spontaneous, provides an opportunity for growth and learning. So don't hold back. Speak up, engage in conversations, and immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of the English language. As you navigate through your English speaking journey, remember that every interaction is a chance to enhance your language proficiency. So, seize every opportunity to practice, learn from your experiences, and embrace the diversity of language that surrounds you. Until next time, take care and keep practicing your English language skills. See you soon.